said, said they would leave the place on their own initiative. Uh, a great deal of people would investigate what was happening, 36%. And there was also uh, a great number of people that would try to warn others regarding to the situation. Another point here, and it has been also stated during this morning, is the reaction of uh, the people towards the alarm signal. We are surrounded by alarms and buzzes and mobile phones and lots of sounds. And sometimes when the alarm signal is triggered, people don't know what to do. They don't know if it is really a fire situation, if it is some uh, intrusion alarm, or if it is just a false system going on. So several uh, people said that when they heard this signal, sometimes they think it is operation of maintenance. Some think it, it could be an exercise of evacuation or a false alarm. Only a few referred that it could be a real uh, fire going on. And several others didn't know actually what was going on. And the reaction of people, um, most of the people would, would try to find out what was happening, what was going on. But several would decide immediately to leave the building, only 50%. Others would even advise to continue their activities. A few others would try to warn other people to leave the building. And only 5% decided that they would contact the fire department to see what was going on. Well, but when people are actually in presence of smoke, that is a, a different scenario. So we noticed that uh, people, whether they were actually under a fire situation or not, their reaction would be more or less the same. And uh, we also noticed that uh, fire safety training would have a significant influence in answers. A great number of people would, would try to investigate the, the situation. Uh, some would try to another way to get out of the building. A few would investigate for curiosity. And there is a, a good number of people that would try to fight, actually, the fire. And when it is not only smoke, it is actual fire, flames, people see, uh, well, the behavior is also um, this one stated here. So there are a, a, a number of, fire, uh, of people that would try to actually fight the fire, but the most of them would try to find a way to get out of the building. And we also noted that uh, gender or fire safety training was and, and age was uh, not a great uh, influence into the answer of this question. So um, we are uh, also uh, developing a new set of questionnaires. And um, those questionnaires uh, involve a great number of people. We are using fire drills uh, happening in Lisbon and in other places in the country uh, in order to give some uh, questionnaires to people during the evacuation process. So we have over 2,000 answers right now. We are uh, now in process of uh, working out those uh, elements, that data, and soon we hope to be here or somewhere else presenting those results. Meanwhile, uh, we are also preparing a proof of concept in terms of trying to um, kind of uh, create a model of human behavior, trying to get some uh, human uh, concepts or human behavior patterns. Um, one of the ideas that we are preparing at the University of Porto with the engineering faculty and the group of artificial intelligence and also computer graphics is to develop a game using the serious games uh, concept. 
the idea is, I think that most of you at least have heard about Sims game, where you have people uh, you, uh, playing online using the computer through the internet, and actually they are steering their uh, own avatar, their own, uh, which is this person in, in, in uh, virtual uh, reality environment. And they are steering their avatar through several things that happen in the game. Well, our idea is to use that concept uh, through the serious games concept, that meaning uh, using games for a serious application. And our idea is to create a model of a building, for instance, it could be the faculty or school or whatever, an hospital, uh, an office building, and if people, instead of doing the fire drill uh, as we typically do by walking around and going off, uh, playing using the computer, trying to reproduce uh, using the computer graphics all the emotions that a game can, um, can uh, provide. Because we notice that during or conducting fire drills, typically people um, take it like a game or like, a, you know, it's so joke sometimes, well, what is this about? There is no fire, why are we going out? Why should we rush if there is actually no hazard present here? So we, our idea is that using uh, serious games, people could actually get immersed into the virtual reality thing and uh, uh, imagine that they are actually in danger. And we can even try to give some points or reward people if they do the proper things and uh, give uh, or remove points if they do the wrong things like using escalators or elevators or, uh, or if they go to the wrong way or if they don't follow the orders. Well, we are still in a very early process of this. And we also want to or intend to use multi-agent systems and uh, computer uh, algorithms that we have seen in, in other simulators like EVAC from uh, BTT and uh, the others we have seen here uh, and mix together the people playing with the game and also other virtual agents doing and trying to motion and see what happens here. Uh, we have here uh, a sketch of the, the scenario in terms of the architecture of this, what we are intending to do. We, we hope to, to use as much as possible um, ready-made software or available software like FPS, for instance, and, and other uh, uh, software and from the games, uh, a game engine that is actually available and try to, using this fire drill simulator engine, uh, having multi-computers and multi-users playing it together and try to extract a uh, crowd behavior database and compare it with the questionnaires that we are been doing and others are been doing and try to see whether this is taking us somewhere. <laughs> we don't know. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I was in a rush, I skipped